Broski, cat got your tongue? I'm allergic to cats. I'm allergic to your face. That's impossible. Um, my face is just like anybody else's face. If you were allergic to my face, you'd probably have a hard time breathing in this room. Okay, I don't understand what you're trying to say to me right now. And I don't need to, because I'm just better than you. In every single way. Mm-hmm, I hear you. Good. Now this worksheet needs to be finished by the time the bell rings. You need to put down whatever nonsense you're involved in and get to work. So like, you want me to leave? Finish my worksheet, nerd. My name at the top, so the teacher thinks I did it. Okay. Okay. Show yourself. I have a weapon. I'm calling the police. Please stop. Don't call the cops. Please. Wait. You go to school with my sister. We saw you dumpster diving. Damn, she saw that? What are you doing here? Are you robbing us? Who are you really? My name is Meatball. I followed Libby home from school to scope out a place to stay. Gotta rotate, make sure no one gets suspicious. So, you're homeless? No shit. <laughs> well, a keychain doesn't really seem your style. It's from my sister. She told me I'm not allowed to take it off. Hey, uh, everyone's gone right now. Do you want something to eat? Have you made up Georg's mind yet? Is he going to marry you? Oh, yes. He hasn't admitted yet, yet though. There seems to be something standing in his way. Oh. You don't know what it is? No. Oh, I do. What? It's very simple. It's money. <laughs> money? Yes. He's rich, and you're rich. And all the famous love affairs lovers have to struggle. Gag fools away upstairs to lovers starve and struggle. Famous for misfortune, which they seem to have no fear of. While lovers who are very rich, you very seldom hear of. How can love survive? You're fond of bonds and you own a lot. I have a plane and a diesel yacht. With plenty of nothing you haven't got. How can love survive? No right to us, let's hop on the bus in the face of the freezing breezes. You reach your goals and your company. Rolls, or in one of your mares a pieces. Far, very far off the beam are we, quaint and bizarre as a tea are we. Two millionaires with a dream are we, but we'll keep romance alive. Two millionaires with a dream are we, we'll make our lives. Thank you. 
are poor, it is to joy the more, the more of the poor at pleasure. Germans have promised not to raid Austria. Max knows then that. Then why does he bother to answer those calls from Berlin? Ah, because if they don't keep their promise, I want to have some friends among them. Naturally. Oh, you agree too. Fail. This is the way I learned. There was a man who was dying. They were reading him the last rites. They asked him, do you renounce the devil and all his works? And he said, at this moment, I prefer not to make any enemies. <laughs> yeah. Georg, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you realize what might happen to you, to your property? To your children? To everyone close to you, to Elsa, to me. Well, what will you do if they come? What anyone with any sense would do? Just sit tight and wait for it all to come over. <laughs> and you think it will? One thing is sure. Nothing you can do will make any difference. Don't look so serious, darling. Take the world off your shoulders. Relax. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Uh, just a moment, I have an announcement that concerns me. Ladies and gentlemen, the festival concert has come to its conclusion, except, of course, we don't know what that conclusion is going to be. The judges are putting their heads together to arrive at their decision, and while we are waiting, I, I think there should be an encore. <laughs> it seems this may be the last opportunity the Von Trapp family will have to sing together for a long, long time. I have just been informed that Captain Von Trapp leaves immediately after the concert for his new command in the naval forces of the Third Reich. Guard of Honor has arrived to escort him directly from this hall to the naval base at Bremerhaven. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the family Von Trapp, again. This is how you make a marriage proposal. I love you, dear. I think you're swell. You're never near me close enough to tell. If I'm delightful or not, I crave your wrist. I praise your thigh. There's not a guy. There's not a piece of paper. There's not a man in pants who could love you the same as I. Oftentimes lovers are crazy people. Sometimes they kill each other. Just like a biblical brother did to his biblical brother back in biblical times. <laughs> biblical times. Oh, those biblical times! I love your eyes. I love your face. I want you by my side to take my place. If I get sick or detained, don't touch your hair! You're perfect! <laughs> There's not a horse or zebra. There's not a giant man who could love you the same as I. Get that giant man. He can't love you the same as I. I'm not a giant man, but I'll love you until, love you until I die.
Oh, 